We have some huge breaking news. With the breaking news we have received is from Swansea and it is based on another summon sign in. Yes, Swansea City have made another sign in this transfer window. Oh, alert. There's actually two sign ins confirmed at Swansea. May I go over to your reporter, Jimmy Jones? Jimmy, what have you got for us? Thanks, John. And I can confirm that the two sign ins of Swansea City made are Mark Guayhe, who has just signed. Another 12 year deal at Swan City after his 6 month loan. It was a 6 month loan option for another 12 months to make an 18 month loan and that has been confirmed just now. Kyle Norton has also signed another year deal at the club where next season he will be at Swansea City. And last of all, Swan City have actually spent some money. Yes, we did not expect that because the manager said they will not be spending any money season. And they have spent 800k on Wigan Athletics' Jamal Law. Did he just say that we've spent money and we have extended Gway here Norton State the Club? A Yes, guys, what is going on? Is the true Jack? Back again with some more Swansea transfer news. And Swansea City have made their fourth and fifth signing of the summer. And we have actually spent some money where we have bought Jamalo for 800k from Wigan Athletic. And we have beaten the likes of Preston, Millwall and apparently QPR to sign him. And i got to say, um, we I, it's actually rare that we win these sort of... Rumours because it was like a three or four way race to sign that man and we are the ones who got him. And also Mark Guayhe, a centre back we had on loan from Chelsea last season, has extended his stay at Swansea. He was there for six months, there was an option for another 12 months and we've completed the option for 12 months so he's there for another season. I'm really excited for next season but first let's talk about Jamal Lowe. He has signed for 800k like I just said now and... For Wigan Athletic, he's done very well this season in 44 appearances. He's scored six goals and he's 26 years old and he was born in London. And obviously he's done well in League One as well. His first club was at Barnet, which is um, a London club. So he started um, local. He, played, he made 13 appearances and I don't think he got a goal there, to be honest with you. And yeah, he's um, done well in League One. Like for Portsmouth, he scored 25 goals in 103 appearances and... Portsmouth before they signed him. He was at Hampton and Richmond Borough where he played 48 games and scored 29 goals. So he has got a lot of goals to his name in his entire career. He didn't score much goals when he was in non-league to be honest with you, only like a couple. But he's improved things um, recent years. Um, he was at the Pompey in 2017 until 2019 until Wigan signed him. And and for Jamal Lowe, his first time in a championship, he scored six goals. So um, I got to say he hasn't done too bad in his first season in the championship. And hopefully he can do more when he is with us now. And I've got to say, um, he is a very, very quick player. Every time I've seen him play, he looks like a very quality player. He's got some dangerous pace. And he's a winger, striker, attacking field, you call it. Um, he can play striker in a new system if we use it. Or maybe we can go back to a back next season and use wingers. Well, preferably... Um, well, the thing is, we've been playing better with our new system, but um, if we, we if we're signing wingers, and I would probably use wingers next season and use um, three at the back or maybe um, four at the back again. Also, he's made an international appearance for the England C team, and he in fact got a goal in that game. So um, yeah, in twenty sixteen, he had a game in the England C team and got a goal. Funny enough, so. Um, yeah, I think Jamalo is, is a very crack inside, in my opinion. I think he'll be a key player for us next season. And if we keep most of the squad we got for next season now, we'll maybe make a couple of signings now. I think we're going to need to sign a proper striker, maybe another centre-back. But, in fact, speaking of centre-backs, Mark Gway, he has signed another 12-month loan deal. It was a six-month with an option for another 12 months. So, basically, that's an 18-month loan. And also, Carl Norton has signed a new one-year deal at the club. So... Potentially, we don't need a centre back because Carl Norton can play there as well. So, but um, other than that, we'll see. I think striker is most important now, and probably maybe a striker or two strikers. I don't know which one. Would you prefer two strikers or one striker? If we use one striker, we could use a Soros backup. But to be honest with you, I think we're going to need a striker who is very prolific and can score a lot of goals. And if we, and by the time we complete that signing of our striker, 
then I think we will be good to go. Also, there's a huge fact that Jamalo, a few years ago when he was playing non-league, was a PE teacher. Yes, that's right. He was a physical education teacher in uh, a school in probably London somewhere because that's where he's from. And um, well, not so sure really. He's been most long most um, teams he's been playing in non-league were London clubs. So I presume somewhere London. He's a London boy. And um, yeah, yeah, that's um, a huge fact about Jamalo. He was once a PE teacher. So yeah, guys, I am really looking forward to what Jamalo brings us next season. And I've got to say. I'm really shocked that we spent money this window because Steve Cooper said we would not be spending any money but it turned out there was actually money at the club and we spent 800k on Jammer Lowe and he's our second permanent signing of the summer after Corey Smith. Also we've got Freddie Woodman back on loan for another year. We've got Morgan Gibbs White on loan from Wolves for the season and also Mark Way he extended his stay at the Liberty Stadium. He was uh, six months with an option for another 12 months and we've got it it was the 18 month loan after all for Mark Wahey and I think next season we will have a strong squad like I said recently anyway guys about Jamalo apparently Graham Potter was looking to bring him to Swansea last summer before he left for Brighton so I think we look so it looks like we have been looking at him for um the last year really but now this year is a time where Steve Cooper is bringing him in so I'm very happy the fact that we're bringing Jamalo he's we got some pace on our team now because a pace was something that we lacked last season and looks like we're getting it back after we're making a sign of Jamal Lowe. He's got a very lightning pace and I think he'll be a good player for us next season. And also I gotta say I'm really happy that we gave Norton a new one year deal because he is a, a very because he's exper he's an experienced man, especially in this division. He was a very important player for us last season and Mark Way he extended his stay at Swansea, which is um Really good, I thought. Um, Mark Way was actually six months for an option for another 12 months. I thought it was a proper 18 months. But, um, yeah, guys, Mark Way, I didn't really rate him at the start of the season. But he got better in the end. And he did a very important block against Reading where we got into the playoffs on the final day. So, um, yeah, guys, I think it's been a very good window so far. Hopefully now we can keep most of the squad we've had from last season. Like, Andre was a player who is vital to keep last season because... Um, if we keep most of our players, including AU from last season, and make a few signs, well, a prolific striker, like I said, we need to sign, in my opinion. I think we might be one of the favourites to finish top six next season. But anyway, you never know in a day it's a championship. So, yeah, I'm really happy with what we're doing in this transfer window so far. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like, subscribe to the post notifications, and yeah, peace.